Hi everyone, thanks again for joining on Sealed for Good. I hope you have remembered to subscribe. If you haven't done that yet, please do so. But today, I'm talking about how to waterproof a swimming pool with the Gripset Systems. So a swimming pool would be one of the most challenging applications. Not impossible, but there are so many variables in a swimming pool application that you cannot approach it like you would with a standard bathroom application or even other applications that you might think are challenging. You've got constant water immersion, you've got chemicals in water, you've got weather a lot of the times, and you've got changes in thermal temperature. And all these can impact the membrane over time. So your selection of waterproofing membrane first is most important. Now, unlike where we look at wet areas and people want a class three system with high elongation, you shouldn't need a membrane in a swimming pool with high elongation. It means zero. What's most important in a swimming pool is the adhesion properties of it and its hydrostatic pressure resistance, its chemical resistance, and its durability. Really important factors when waterproofing a swimming pool. Now in our systems, we always go with a cementitious base. We've got our Gripset 2P membrane, which we've done many, many pools. I'm talking hundreds and thousands of them around the country and around the region over the last 30 years. And Gripset C1P, which is another option. Now, when you are applying these products to surfaces, a swim pool will primarily be a concrete-based surface. So the priming system is different than what you would use, again, in a bathroom. So our primer that we go to for this application is our Gripset 11Y slurry, particularly the Gripset 2P membrane. The advantage of the C1P is that that surface can be pre-dampened and you don't need to use the Gripset 11Y slurry as the primer. So that's the advantage of the C1P system. However, you must get the film build correct as per our specification for swimming pools. All the detailing items are important. So if there are lights in the pool, if there are any jets, if there are any junctions or joints, or if you know there's gonna be stairs or any fixtures through the membrane system, have that all planned out first and how you're gonna work around that, because that can be the undoing in the pool. With your membrane application, you don't just finish it in the pool. You should always bring it out like a planter box and cap it outside. And I, on that pool landing area, a minimum of one to one and a half meters is the minimum. Ideally, that pool landing area should be tanked and waterproof completely. And so that membrane is totally seamless on the whole area where you've got it immersed and the areas outside where you're gonna have tiles or other pavers or other landing finishes on the membrane so it's complete. But when the area in the pool is complete, it doesn't just finish there. We apply the grip set level wise slurry back over the membrane as a finish. Why do we do that? It's the best system to use for when you're laying tiles over the top. Now some of you might have seen the episode last year that I had with Ian Middleton, and there's a link now to see that again if you want. Ian was our expert from in mosaic tiles and specialized in pools as part of his profession for decades. There were some really good reference points we spoke about in that episode, but most importantly, people don't realize the strains and stresses that tiles have on membranes in these applications. And also these days, the types of tiles, particularly mosaics that are used in pools, and you cannot tile in the same way you may a wet area. So this is why we always try and approach a swimming pool application with a specification to give you a bullet point detail on how you approach every part of the application. And if you'd like more information, we're there for you. And I'd always recommend you check first before you approach a pool application. It is simple as that. Ask first, get the answers. Don't go and have a problem and then ask the questions. Get it right first time and it moves on from there and you'll find you become an expert in swimming pool waterproofing. If you have more questions on this, get us on 1-800-650-435 don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Seal for Good.